first guest tonight is an Emmy, Grammy, Tony, and Pulitzer Prize winning songwriting ball of fire. And next, he's nominated for an Oscar for best original song for his work in the movie Encanto. Dos oruguitas enamoradas pasan sus noches y madrugadas llenas de hambre siguen andando y navegando un mundo que cambia y sigue cambiando. Please say hello to Lynn Manuel Miranda. Were you, was that for our keyboard player, yes, Jeff, it is. or Cleto, or whatever? You know, Jeff Babco plays on. He's worked with you many times. He plays on. He we, plays all the keys on. He's played on the Encanto soundtrack. It's all his fault that and you're. He's right. That's right. right. It's, 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 it's all his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Direct your earwigs towards him. Congratulations on the Oscar nomination. Thank you and so much. Thank you. I went through the list a second ago. I think that's the only one you haven't checked off yet. You must want that so badly. You could, you would kill for that, correct? I, I, I really. It's, it's again. It's like. It's like stats, you know. You know, Rafa Nadal like broke the record for most opens, but he wasn't thinking about breaking the record. He was just like, "There's a ball coming at me very fast, uh -huh. and I have to hit the ball back." And that's yeah. how I feel when I'm writing the tune. Like yeah. someone is throwing a ball at me very fast. Do you ever worry that you're going to have too many accolades while you're young, and then it's like there's nothing to look forward to? Every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> So that'll be fun. You, yeah, that'll um, be fun. You're I look forward to regret. <laughs> you're bringing your family to the Oscars this time uh, around. Yes, I'm bringing. I'm bringing my wife and um, and my parents will just get in. They you know, will get in. The Puerto Rican families, they're just gonna find a way in. <laughs> so my, they'll be there. I don't know how, but they'll be there. So last time uh, you were at the Oscars was 2017, and I was hosting the and show. I was with your parents. You were with my parents. Your parents and your brother were on my <laughs> aisle. Um, it went sideways. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Remember when you... Well, that's right. I have a great picture I would like to show. Okay. I don't know if you've seen this, but I want. So now, uh, what you're, what Lynn Manuel's referring to is that uh, at the end, the yeah, we had the, the Moonlight uh, La La Land uh, Madness. Yes, one of them was announced as the winner. I don't even remember which one won, won anymore. Right. Moonlight actually won. Moonlight actually won. They announced La La Land, and no one knew what was happening, and it was all playing out in real time. There was. Uh, I remember turning to my mom and going, "Mom, fix your face, because there's cameras on us, and you know." Crazy things are happening on stage. Right, right. And now let's look at the still yeah. photograph. Now this is. <laughs> let's start. Just get these. Is when this is the moment when everybody kind of figured out what was going on. Yeah. So zoom in to Meryl Streep there, who is like having really. Yeah. I heard she was nominated for an Oscar her, for her performance in this <laughs> audience. Then you have uh, Ben Affleck there, who looks. <laughs> he's feeling. He looks yeah. like he stepped on a Lego in bare feet. Then you got Matt Damon, who just, he only thinks yeah. about himself, so he's laughing. <laughs> and let's slide over to the side there. Dwayne Johnson oh, is laughing. He's he in full your welcome mode. <laughs> That's right. And then finally, the person who seems to be suffering the most <laughs> is you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so badly. I thought my mom. Well, you can see a sliver of my mom's face right next yeah, to me. You see the. And by the, the way, you can see. Lipstick. Circle my dad, because that's my whole dad's. <laughs> my dad's whole face. My yeah, dad was, was just bored. I, think. I was feeling yeah. a lot of pain for everyone on stage. <laughs> I thought my mom was not being cool, but I was way worse. So they are coming this time, huh? Yeah, they'll be there. Oh, that'll yeah. be fun. It's How does that work? If you do, you go like, listen, I just have to bring them. That's it. Yeah, and they were like, well, it's COVID, so it's going to be a lot less people. And I go, I understand that, but it's still. Happening. My, my dad, yeah. you know, my parents worked a lot, so they weren't around a lot when I was, you know, going to school and coming home from school, but they never missed a play. And uh -huh. I remember my freshman year in college, uh, I got cast as Jesus in Jesus Christ Superstar. It's a good role. And my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the titular role. <laughs> and my, my dad rented a bus to bring 40 Puerto Ricans up from Washington Heights to Middletown, Connecticut. Were they people he knew, or he just found random Puerto Ricans? <laughs> yeah, he just, get in the bus! Um, avanza! Um, no, he, it, was, it was all a bunch of uh, friends and family, and there was a snowstorm, and they were late, and so we had, I was mortified, because they were holding the curtain for the Miranda bus, and it's an 80-seat 
theater, so it's half the audience. Yeah, right. Is the Miranda bus, <laughs> um, and it was very mortifying for for young Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you forgave them for being I did, late. Yes. I did. My mom, it really messed my mom up. Like, she did rosary for, like, a month after seeing oh, her son really? crucified. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, even though it's in song, it, it really messed her up. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, seeing your son crucified yeah. is one of the... Yeah, it's, yeah not, it's, it's not great. One of the things you don't want to see as a parent. Yeah. Right, speaking of being a parent, I want to take a break here because I want to talk about this uh, song that has... Um, really seeped into every pore of every, every iota of my home and my body and my ears and my brain and everything like that. <laughs> and also, okay, well, we're going to come back. Uh, Lynn Memo, well, Miranda is with us. He's nominated for an Oscar for Encanto. We'll be right back. And we're back with Lynn Manuel Miranda, who is nominated. Not only is your song from Encanto nominated, but uh, your movie has got how many nominations? Uh, tick, tick, boom. One for uh, our editors, uh, Myron and Andy, and one for the great Andrew Garfield. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Andrew Garfield, first of all, you. You directed this movie. You did a great job. Thank I really so enjoyed much. the movie, Thank and you. I did not know this story. And what an absolutely incredible story, and what a good singer Spider-Man is. Too. Yeah, Spider-Man can sing, man. He's really fantastic. Did you test him out beforehand? No, I just, I just kind of think Andrew Garfield can do anything, and then uh -huh. he proved me right. Yeah, like, I really, really, I really didn't. Know. I'd seen him in theater, like I'd seen him on stage, uh -huh. and he was in a play called Angels in America that is six hours long. So I just knew he had incredible endurance, and he was a wonderful actor. That's a just, crazy leap of faith. Yeah, I guess so. It's a Spider-Man-like leap of faith. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> your Spidey sense. Told it, yeah, you. it was tingling. You love Spider-Man, right? You're I, one I had, I had, so. I was like one of the last folks to see it because I was so busy with Encanto and Tick, Tick, Boom, and my birthday's in January, so I had a Spider-Man birthday party, like a little <laughs> kid. Like, I rented a theater and all my friends and I watched, you know, Jonathan Larson as Spider-Man. You didn't great. make Andrew dress up and uh, come he to would, it? He wouldn't come. He would not come. Did no. you know, did he lie to you too about Spider-Man? Because he lied to everyone. The euphemism became my friend in Atlanta. I'm going to visit my friend in Atlanta after this. Interesting. And it was funny, once I was talking to him and I was talking about Willem Dafoe, about like, I'd seen Willem Dafoe in another movie and he was great, because he's great. He goes, oh yeah, he's great, have you met him? Because, <laughs> and I go, no, have you met him? <laughs> and he was like, well, I was visiting my friend in Atlanta and he was there. <laughs> Got it. It's like his girlfriend in Canada yeah, kind exactly. of thing. So, um, we don't talk about Bruno is is like what was it five weeks number one first Disney number yeah, one yeah, hit in like still number thirty one. years or something like that. <laughs> you um, it is, this is played and I know you hear this all the time, but all the time at my house and not just the kids. My wife is in the car listening to it. <laughs> she wakes up in the night thinking about it. <laughs> Yes, and it's great, but enough already. I mean, yeah. I, I knew the other. You know, I knew the other the other shoe was gonna sort of drop and everyone's gonna go, I love this, enough already. Like you, I have a four and seven year old. Yeah. And uh, the four year old, my son Billy, yesterday, I swear to God, this is a true story. Okay. He uses the word butthole and I don't like it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I said, Billy, we don't use that word. And he goes, we don't talk about butthole. Oh, oh. Right now, a remix is being made <laughs> online of you singing that. And we tried to not laugh, but we laughed. <laughs> yeah. And he now thinks it's okay to say that. Oh, man. But this is something <laughs> that um, you probably didn't re I mean, you didn't know this was going to be the song that went no, crazy. I, no, because group numbers never are the hit, you know? You can't sing a. Was oh, that right? Yeah, oh. Yeah, no. Like, never. It's the ballad, usually, yeah, right? It's yeah. usually the ballad, or it's like. The villain song, you know, it's it's always something else. But you know, the group number is the thing the theater kids like and no one else likes because they get to sing it at their cast party. Interesting. Yeah, and now we have like <laughs> this group karaoke number. Uh, my son says, "Daddy, they sing it on the bus and everyone sings different parts." Really? And, yeah, and he and I was like, is, and he's like, "I'm one of several Camilos <laughs> on the bus." Is he proud that you wrote yes, the song? Yes, and I, I know I'm peaking now. Like, I know I will not be cool very soon to my children, so I'm enjoying this moment. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe you write a Marvel musical or something. Have you ever thought about that? Well, they, they did a Spider-Man musical. It went sideways. Oh yeah, that's right. They did. Yeah, oh, Google yeah. that. It, <laughs> I, I can't go into it, but Google that. Well, we have. Um, you know, in many families across America, uh, the song We Don't Talk About Bruno has uh, become a problem, and fortunately, help is on the way. 
Are you one of millions of Americans who can't get enough of Encanto? Do you have an uncontrollable urge to sing and dance to its irresistibly catchy songs? We don't talk about no, 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 no. I'm Lin-Manuel Miranda. Have the songs of Encanto brought your life to a joy-filled yet grinding halt? Now there's hope. Encantix, the only prescription medication clinically proven to curb your cravings for the Encanto soundtrack. Our kids were listening to Bruno two, maybe three hundred times a day. With Encantix, we've gotten it down to a solid 125. We don't talk about you, no, 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 no. Thanks, Encantix. Encantix is a first of its kind pill that doesn't go in your mouth. Simply insert one into each ear canal and take a break from the sonic delights of national treasure Lin-Manuel Miranda. That's me. Now I can spend less time singing and more time drinking at work. <laughs> Dance in Cantus. <laughs> in Cantus. Take dos oruguitas and call me in the morning. Encantix is not intended for use to curb Hamilton, Moana, or any other Disney musical. Call your doctor if you can't stop talking about Bruno for more than four hours. Encantix may cause explosive jazz hands. Encantix, from the makers of Prozac. Lin-Manuel Miranda, everybody. Good luck at the Oscars. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back. Oh, Encanto is on Blu-ray, digital, Disney Plus, and Tick, Tick, Boom on Netflix. We'll be back with Brian Cox. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.